Yeah, so this is a private patch again another little segment on it and I've got a corner that I'm opening up here and I'm throwing some wood on the eastern property line back into the unit um, it had to fall that towards the landing because it's right on the line couldn't go down the hill is unfavorable from a logging standpoint for it to go up the hill so you can see I've got some wood on the ground already pointed in that direction and also I ho originally opened up a little hole by tipping some smaller trees back towards the line trees that I could carry back and drop them so they uh, stayed inside the inside the property So now that I've got those trees on the ground, I'm back inside the unit. The landing's behind me. I can dump a few more trees in the proper lead to open up a hole for a few more trees down on the northern property line that need to be tipped in too. This is nice wood, it's tall. It's nice timber. You can see that I face up a lot of these trees and quite a few of them I could take off the stump, but I'm right up against the lines or close to the lines. And I just find it good practice, you know, especially in good timber, you know, put a little face in a stick. It ensures that I'm going to be able to take it off the stump easily and handle it. And, uh, just avoids problems, even if it's not really necessary. Yeah, so open up corners is always tricky. But, uh, I actually had to open this corner up twice because, as you'll see, there's some wood on the ground on the adjoining property. and. When I came out to this corner the first day to get started on it, there was a crew of hand fallers working right there, so I had to back in and safe distance and cut, and now I'm coming back in. I chase them out. Gonna have to get this stuff on the ground. So I think there are four or five pretty good sized sticks. I'm just facing this first one here that are going to tip in, 
kind of up the hill, quartered up the hill, away from the property line, away from the corner. And what I try to do with situations like this, I try to kind of split the split the difference of the angle to try to make it as favorable as possible for the shovel following me up, if that makes sense. And there was also quite a lot of hardwood that the landowner wanted left, which, especially in this corner, there was quite a bit of it. I had to take some just because I had to, but he wanted me to save everything I could. That definitely made, didn't make it any easier for me, but he was happy with the end result, so that's really all that matters. Right there, that view there, I'm kind of looking off to the left, basically along the property line, the corners out there in the distance. So the first thing I did when I came to this unit, I you know, came out and walked, walked it around. And this corner, as it often is, is the place I want to start. It's furthest away from the land. And, and that's just incredibly valuable. Looking at a piece on the ground, you get a feel for what you're up against. snipe this larger stump as you'll see it's really too big to face up and knock down that's a pretty valuable tool also with a big stump like this I'm gonna be throwing a lot of wood at it and uh, having that snipe on both sides will deflect the force if you do happen to misjudge and hit it you can deflect it off rather than breaking it I personally would much rather cut everything. I mean, this is a nice piece of soil, nice piece of ground with good soil on it, good tree growing ground. And even though the landowner desired the hardwoods to be left, they really should have been cut, you know, from a standpoint of good sound forestry. But like I said, that's what he wanted, or perhaps his wife wanted. He was happy with it. So that's the way it was. I'm down here on, uh, on the, the, part the northern boundary is right on my left. I'm right up against it. These trees are right next to the line. You can see that flag there. Again, facing up a tree. Making sure we put her where we want it. I think this is another situation where I kind of feel like, again, it's not doing this particular part. It's not really about production. It's about making sure that you get it organized as best you can to make it easy for the shovel. Saving the wood out as best you can, which is difficult when you're to and fro on like this. And uh, kind of making sure you just kind of get this this part of it, the beginning of this little strip, done correctly. And then when you move back into the cutting and start dumping it on it, then you can go ahead on it. So a little bit of time, a little extra time, I think is well worth it because it makes sure you, you don't have a blunder that you have to fix or problem that you have to address. I'm 
looking off there now, I'm taking a pause, just looking out, making sure I didn't miss anything. Couple more sticks here. We'll have this one opened up. So these trees, the butts, are quite close to the property line, so I'm going to pull them, pull them up, you'll see, because I need to sneak out below them in between these and the property line. And I also, I'm going to be throwing a lot of that stuff to the west on top of these, so something I like to do in a situation like that is kind of flatten the sticks out rather than having an actual bundle. That way you can lay them, lay these trees on the top and, and not break them, you know, it doesn't have anything to, to uh, crown on. So that's looking right down the line. You can't see it, but there's flag and it runs out to the property line. Yeah, so that does it for the corner. So, so now I'm walking down uh, down to the west, and face up a few trees. Now I can really kind of go to town on it, laying it in lead along the line, and put some wood on the ground. So, so yeah, once again, I hope you find it interesting. It's kind of some tricks I use for somebody who might be wondering what I'm doing. There we have it. Thanks again.
right up there. George, you know, you remember that one? I don't know what it was. Last summer? I don't know what it was. But anyhow, it, they wanted all the hardwood left, like they do here. Oh, yeah.